day will come, and I say this to you all in labor, that your ambition will not be to make a living, hand to mouth. That your ambition will not be for two days to me. I was telling them in Benin on Friday, when I landed, I arrived this country two days ago. I said, people who fight to make two ends meet can never meet. The end of my foot and my head, they don't meet. My front and my back, they don't meet. My ambition is not to make two ends meet, but to make my life meet the need of people. <laughs> for to be rich is to reach other people. Amassing wealth for your personal consumption is poverty in disguise. You didn't hear me. Say with me to be rich. R I C H. Christos. R E A C H. People. To be rich is to rich people. All of you live in a town, the most religious town we have in Africa, where you can buy handkerchief, you can buy holy oil, you can buy towel, you can buy broom. You, can, you are looking for many, many, many magicians that are playing your oracle in the name of miracle. And it doesn't last. So tie handkerchief in your car is not the will of God. Faith does not come by handkerchief. Faith does not come by bottle of oil. Faith does not come by broom in the back of your car. And faith does not come by falling down and rising up. Faith comes by hearing the word of God. And I'm glad that you have preached the word here, challenge, yet we stood the time. January 4th, next year, which is about five weeks away, will be 40 years I started preaching. I've never added anything to Christ, and I need nothing outside Him. <laughs> Ask anybody who knows me 30 years ago, I've never showed room to make a leap. I've never sold oil to make a leap. I've never sold handkerchief to make a leap. I've never sold any sellable candle, camphor, red beret, green beret, anything sellable. Nothing can be added to the grace of God. And what God cannot do, no man can improve on it. <laughs> if you love the Lord, say big amen. amen. Say with me one more time, God came down. To so see the city and the tower which man built. What have you done to attract the presence of God? What has God used you to do? Remember, the Bible said the land was plain. When you bought this land few years ago, in your absence, Dr. Boye John brought me here. And he said, can you advise your friend about this place? I said, I will not talk to him until he finish. <laughs> the swamp, the swamp, the swamp in this area can make any man backslide if he cannot front <laughs> The million you sank in the floor here to get a ground out of water could have caused the weakest man to say, where is God? More than 10 times I've come here without seeing you and I didn't look for you. I make sure you are not around. <laughs> when I'm coming, I put the first cap with the red spectacles so that your people don't know who I am. <laughs> we are here today because one man said it can be done. <laughs> Become a possibilitarian. Help yourself. Don't go to Presbyterian church or become a possibilitarian. <laughs> Sit down and say amen. You can become a possibilitarian. Let me hear say all things are possible. For him that believes. All things are possible. For him that believes. Let me hear say nothing shall be impossible. Matthew 17, 20, nothing shall be possible to you. Luke chapter 1, verse 37. For with God, nothing shall be possible. All things are possible to him that believe. Luke chapter 9 is possible. 
Matthew 7 says, whatever we ask, we can receive. John 13 says, it's possible for us to have the kingdom of God. And these men and women built a city and a town. And God was attracted. And God came down. Now I'm nearing my message. And I have five minutes to finish. Oh. <laughs> Praise Jesus, come here. Hurry up. God came down. Can I hear you say, God will come down for me? I didn't hear you. I said, I didn't hear you. Don't see. What I'm doing on earth that it gets to me. 